along to you know, where we think. Morning. Well, here we are on our way to Market Harbour. Um, little cruise to Market Harbour and back, and then probably we'll go up the locks at Foxton. Um, it's a lovely day, taking it steady, a couple of hours, and we're booked into the pub later, so it's all good. So, come along with us. And we're lucky today because we've got Steve and Dee on the boat with us, coming down to Market Harbour with us. Uh, last saw Steve and Dee at the end of the Capital Ring, and before that, we saw them on the London Loop, outside their house in uh, Sitka. So, regular visitors to this channel. Yeah. Hello, hello. <laughs> oh, we're so lucky with the weather, and what a fantastic boat. Great trip to Market Harbour, and a pub lunch. <laughs> and here's Dee. Hello. She's enjoying the sunshine at the bow. now. These gorgeous houses with great big gardens going down to the canal. Here are the visitor moorings I think or close to where the visitor moorings are. We'll probably go and turn around in the basin, moor up and explore. And this has to be one of the prettiest approaches to a town by canal. Absolutely gorgeous. And here we are, moored up just outside the basin at Market Harbour, booked into the waterfront. So we'll uh, grab a shower now we've got plenty of hot water from that cruise down and go and explore Market Harbour. Here we are on our way to the pub, the waterfront. It was the first place Very pretty basin at Market Harbour. So apparently, in 1950, this was the site of the first Inland Waterways Association festival. Here, in this little basin in Market Harbour. This was supposed to go to Northampton, but they stopped here because they ran out of money. So it's always been a sleepy little arm. It was quite busy with coal and wool trade for quite some time. Now it's just a lovely leisure destination. And there goes Stephen D. And now we're gonna go shopping. And here we are in uh, 
the middle of Market Harbour, short walk from the wharf. Lovely little uh, Leicestershire market town. Lots of posh shops here. I think we're just within the London commuter belt, judging from the prices in the pub. But it's just a very quaint little market town. Really nice. Here's Judith looking in the window of the first ever jewels store. Started in Market Harbour apparently. What do you think then, Judith? <laughs> Plenty of pubs. My kind of town. And here's the old grammar school, originally built in 1614, but added to subsequently. And built on stilts to keep the people of Market Harbour dry in inclement weather. How thoughtful. St Dionysius's Church. Fine old church. And how weird is that? That's one of our local buses, the Five, pressed into service as the X3 going through Market Harbour. the local independent school and here's the main point of this little tour the co-op morning well today we're heading back to the locks at Foxton we'll probably go up those tomorrow it's another lovely morning got a few more people coming on the boat and then we'll be off. And today, on our cruise back to Foxton, we have my lovely sister Denise and my handsome nephew Dave. Hello. Enjoying this lovely, glorious, sunny day.
perfect. That would be it. <laughs> Steady pressure, that's all she needs. Don't want to use the bow thrusters, otherwise people will think I'm a wuss. <laughs> we did that the other year, yeah. Interesting. Well, up the Thames from Brentford to Teddington. Yeah, that was that was great. That was. Yeah. Lovely. Oh, I'm going to go forward slightly then. Are we far enough ahead now? Here we are, back at Foxton Locks. We're going to have a spot of lunch and then go and have a look at the locks. We'll be doing those tomorrow. So a bit of a recce. So peace once again descends on this lovely stretch of canal. Let's go and see what's on the other side of that hedge. This is magical. Well, here we are back at the boat. What a beautiful walk that was. Just shows what's just the other side of the hedge when you're on the canals. So tomorrow, it's Foxton Locks. See you then. coming towards me and then I couldn't see it Morning Well here we are to the beginning of Foxton Locks. We're going to do all 10 locks in the next hour or so with the help of our friendly CRT lockies. We do this stuff on a swing bridge at the moment so I'll join them in a minute but they're going to do this lock for us. So Foxton Locks is a staircase lock, two sets of five with a passing place in the middle Staircase lock is where the bottom gates of one lock form the top gates of the next. So you don't have discrete lock after lock after lock. Each lock leads into the other. What's unique about Foxton, or certainly amazing, is that with a normal staircase lock, you would have to set the locks before you went up or down them. So for example, if you're going up a staircase of three locks, the top two have to be full and the bottom one empty. If you're going down, the top one has to be full and the bottom two empty. That way you carry the water up and down with you. This lock has these side pools, so you open the red paddle to fill the lower lock and then you open the white paddle 
which lets water out of the upper of the two locks back into the side pound. That means you don't have to set the locks up and you also conserve water. Ingenious. A wonder of the modern age. And here we are, top of Foxton Locks, top of the canal. I think it's downhill all the way from here. But I don't think we'll do any more today. A uh, bit of boat maintenance. Get some sealant around those solar panels on the starboard side. Put another decal on, have a bit of a chill. So, that's the end of this cruise moored up here at the top of Foxton Locks and it was a gorgeous cruise wasn't it? Absolutely fantastic. Bit of boat maintenance to do now got to carry on sealing the uh, solar panel so that it doesn't go rusty underneath them we bought some decals to smarten up the front of the boat it's only got half of them on at the moment but now we can put the other half on because the other side's next to the bank and then we might do a bit of chilling which is what it's all about really isn't it? So what were your favourite bits, Judith? Well, I don't think there's any favourite bits. It was all lovely. And it was so nice to have um, friends on Saturday, Eden D. And uh, we had a nice meal with them. And then to have my sister and my nephew Dave and his wife Maz, you know, for the nice cruise back to Market Harbour. And then just sitting on the boat last evening and we saw two kingfishers that flew past and then perched quite close by. Yeah, it so was glorious, wasn't it? It was just, oh, yeah. and it was just beautiful. Made your, um, made your tour, it didn't did. it? <laughs> anyway. And then coming up the locks was okay. I was a little bit tense. Um, but yeah. It, it was like it camping, was, wasn't uh, it? Intense. <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> anyway, so. I want to take the opportunity to thank the people who are subscribing to this channel. We really, really appreciate it. We hope you'll continue the journey with us over the summer. Look forward to putting more of these videos up about once a week and sharing them with you. So if you do like the videos, please press the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It's completely free. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. Bye. Special mention to uh, Sue and Peter, who dropped by uh, later on in the day. Thanks very much, Peter, for helping me with the uh, sealant around the solar. Made the job much easier. Don't expect you expecting that. And also, Janet and Neil, who we haven't seen for absolutely years, who just happened to be coming through on their way around the Leicestershire Ring. Fantastic to meet up with them again.